guys welcome back to another episode of smith searching outdoors and as you guys remember last year it's league season so me and dad are out uh team smith we're out here uh trying to catch a muskie this morning we picked a morning slot today from uh five to ten we got a nice um 5 20 moon moon set so and it's sunrise so perfect time to catch one on top water this morning so uh, I think we're gonna scoot up in here and uh, start chucking some baits. Alrighty, folks, let's pick out a bait. I think Dad's gonna want to throw this. That's for sure. So I'll give this top raider back over there for Dad. And what I'm gonna throw? What a bait that I've had some pretty good action on out here. Caught a few fish on. Big ol' hog wobbler. Black hog wobbler. So we're gonna toss this up there and take off the bucktail. Boom, it's time to go. It's 5.12 right now. First cast. Peak major, or peak uh, moonset right now. Moonset and sunrise. Switching over, Lee Lures Ninja. Pretty cool tail. You know, I tell you, that bucktail, that Lee Lures Ninja. Crazy good, like I chucked it opening weekend. The vibration on that thing is incredible. I think that that thing's gonna get eaten this year. And the blade kinda looks like a little ninja star, so. It's got a really good kick to it. Yeah. Nice tick, nice vibration. I think it's gonna get crunched this season. I think Lee made a great made a great bait there. When would I ate it? Well, we would have seen a fish by now. I think we would have seen a fish by now. Yeah. Spot change, guys. Fished about three quarters of the spot and fished the best area of the spot that we usually catch fish on. And then we will fish, so that's it's time to run. And go fish a new spot. Now, what do you mean this boat is made for speed? When you run in it because it's so narrow, yeah. like when you ran with Joe out in front of the landing, uh -huh. you look like you're doing like 35, 40 miles an hour. Yeah, because it's, cause it's so flat. And you're small and the... <laughs> you have to take a... And you're only doing 20. You'd have to take a, take a video of me today because I want to see what it looks like. That's cool. All right, guys, let's talk about the combo that I'm rocking today. At least the one that I'm throwing some top water with right now. This is also going to be my uh, glide bait rod, too. But what I'm throwing, PC Fun Alloys. And on this reel, we have 80-pound uh, Fins XS braid. The rod I'm using, this is 710. It's a little bit of a shorter rod because it's my jerkbait rod. But it's a 710 assault stick uh, tactical strike. So it's a little bit on the lighter side. It's, yeah, it's a 2020 stick. And all these 2020 sticks, pretty much all the rods that Chaos makes now are all telescoping. Even though the seven-footer, you don't really have to telescope it 
to get in the truck, but. Really nice rod. Caught a lot of fish on the, uh, the, uh, the split grip tactical strike last year. So, breaking in this new rod. Best way to break it in is catching a muskie on it. I think that's how things go, eh? Right? Right. Time is 5.33. Been fishing for about 30 minutes now. Have not encountered a muskie yet. That one will work, Dad. And Dad, the lemon drop one. Back throwing lemon drop again. He's been repaired, eaten, abused. It's lemon drop. Another season. Was it? Yeah, it was a little ski. Was a small well, that was a small ski. Thought he put more holes in the lemon drop. Okay. He's like 25. Not even. 22. Okay. Yeah, or maybe even he was like a freshly stocked or. That, there's a mosquito. It's one mosquito is trying to bite you. There's a ton of bait in this five foot of water. It was the right species that ate the lemon drop, just the wrong size. Way wrong size. Needs to be 34 inches. There. Uh, that one was probably not even 24 inches. So he needs like a good at least 12 inches. Give them a couple years and we'll catch them again. What are you thinking, fish? I think I'm gonna throw a little, uh, little twitch bait. Some people call them crank baits, jerk baits. Middle baits. Middle baits, yeah. Uh, Ooh, green one. Look at that. Musky water. Yeah. One thing I like about these a lot. Hear that rattle? Bait from the uh, Lee Lures Ninja. See that with a little ninja star blade. Got some bait five feet down. Got a weed line. This bait's got a really nice tick to it. And I think it's just gonna get hammered. This is a swat that I'm using. It's a nice light bucktail rod. Even light medusas. Gosh, I forgot how to throw bucktails. It's been a while. I'm switching up to rubber also. I grabbed this uh, perch color. Mid Medusa. And we are away. God, it's been so long since I've ripped rubber. Missed it. Love ripping medusas. I uh, tell you what, these these uh, fast alloyses are actually like I'm really impressed with the amount of line you can pick up, especially for ripping rubber. I just make a half a crank and I'm back up to tight line, which is really good when you're ripping rubber because you don't want to have that slack in the line and miss that bite.
You know what I mean, Dad? You know what you mean. <laughs> Fast reel and ripping rubber. All right, guys. So what we're what we're looking at here, and what we're chucking these medusas over, is that. Look at all that. That's all bait out here in ten feet of water, going up to that. It's like the bait's all out in ten to the eight foot break out here, and we're just casting at that break. And I bet you there's walleyes, pike, everything out here. Just feasting on these schools of bait. And we love ripping rubber over pods of bait, not when they're scattered. You notice how all that bait in there is all like in one big pile. That's really good. Because when they're all in one big pile, it makes a big ambush point for the fish. And they can just go up and crush it and sit they sit below all the bait so when you throw a deuce over there they see that that bigger profile bait or another perch or something like that and they just gotta go up and take a swipe at it all right guys i'm gonna show you guys a, a little tip that i like to like to do when i'm ripping rubber or even throwing suix, I do kind of the same thing when I'm throwing suix. So when you're coming into the eight, medusas can be difficult to figure eight. So when you come in, coming around the corner, I like to go deep when you're coming next to the boat. And then what I like to do is just hop it and hang it right on that corner. Go deep again. Hop, hop, hop. And a lot of times, you won't even see a fish down there and they'll just come up and hop it on that corner and they'll just come out of nowhere and they'll scare you so bad, but they will absolutely just T-bone it right on that corner. Especially when you got bait schools like that. Yeah, especially when you got bait schools like that. Oh, cord's coming away. Bait schools like that down there, five feet down, they could easily be sitting right out in front of that right next to these schools and they just see your bait coming by even right below the boat and they'll just come up and give it a little swipe and crush it i love catching fish on medusa's boat side it's especially mid medusas where they add they just seem to absolutely destroy these things We fished some good spots, seeing a ton of bait, thinking where the bait is, there's got to be fish. Well, we couldn't find any fish in those spots. Could have been the baits we were throwing, but we switched up baits in all those spots, too. So we got, till 10, so we got about an hour and a half, or no, two and a half hours. Wait, I don't know about my math. Yeah, about two and a half hours. But it's about 7.30 right now. So, hopefully, we can catch a muskie. Or at least move a couple good ones. Because we have not encountered a muskellunge today. Almost like they just don't want to follow our baits. Or eat them. Or acknowledge that they're there. Or they're just dumb and they don't even know they're there. One of those three things. I've switched up to a uh, Esox Assault Killer Corn color. Look at that Ridgeway My favorite. Color. Dad's throwing this sweet Ridgeway Custom. Six inch, I think. I'm not very good with sizes. Really pretty color. Any pants on these? Oh, we have John Boat. We oh my God! No, no, we be no, 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 no. He just barely nipped it. 
Well, guys, we had our uh, first little actual musky action of a decent musky. About a 30, 34, 36. I was trying to listen to what my dad was saying and I wasn't paying attention. I came into the L turn like this and he just came up and uh, opened his mouth around it and I felt it look and looked away and I set I pulled away from him instead of pulling it back into him because we're still a bit rusty this this season we've yet to get one especially on the eight I'm not really ready for it it's, it's your first league more and not ready for a boat side to eat yet cabbage Cabbage Fisher. Yeah, I snagged that. <laughs> yeah. Got one. Got him? What do you got? Small ski. Small ski? Yeah. A blade? A uh, jerk bait. Minnow bait. Ah, Fisher just got a little musky. Hey right, guys. Yeah. There we go. That's a cute little bugger. That's there, a fish. cute little bugger. I'm gonna put them on the. There he just wants to go. Bye bye. Some of the baits we really like to use in the early June are. And these baits that we use today, obviously. This is a, uh, a top raider, rainbow trout, nice color. We use that today. Also, mid medusas, we love mid medusas all year round, but they really just catch fish, like I said, all year round. So, we really like those. Also, new to our lineup this year, the Lee Lures Ninja. Really nice little bucktail. He makes a bigger size too. Just a little ninja star makes some really nice clanking and vibrations in the water. And then what I uh, what I messed up on that one muskie on is uh, my, one of my favorite bucktails, Esox Assault Killer Corn. You can never go wrong with Killer Corn. As you can see, this one's been beat up quite a bit. And they're all just, this is a double eight, and uh, they're all just uh, good baits we like to throw this time of year. Obviously, you throw gliders, other different baits, diving rise, but uh, those are just the baits that, some of the baits that we threw today, and uh, yeah, that kind of was our game plan. Caught one little muskie, about a 20, 23 inch or so. Had one nice, decent sized muskie, about a 30, 36 probably come up and try to eat my bucktail. I made a mistake, but uh, what can you do? Dad lost another small muskie. I mean, it's that time of year. It's 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 the start of June. There's bluegill spawning, bass are spawning. The muskies have so much food, why would they need to come eat our baits? But all we can do is try, and that was our attempt at our first league night. So. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Smith's Fishing Outdoors. And uh, comment any any other video ideas, like bait ideas, like what do you want us to talk about. Comment that down below. And uh, we'll make sure to hit that like, subscribe button. And we'll see you on the next adventure.